Good morning, English 119. Uh, this is Grant, and I'm recording this video, um, hopefully it'll be short today, of just some concepts I want you to take away as we're looking at how to read images, how to read advertisements. So to kind of augment what we're looking at in Berger, I'm going to introduce you to Roland Barthes. Um, article rhetoric of the image. Now I linked it underneath today's um, class, but you don't have to read it. It's it's pretty confusing. So I'm just going to try and give you the concepts from it because I think they're really important and helpful for how to read um, the rhetoric of images. Okay. So the article uh, Barth basically unpacks this French ad of the, these Italian food products, right? You have pasta sauce, you have cheese, um, you have pasta, right? So he spends the, the whole piece kind of close reading this, okay? And if you're not familiar with Roland Barth, um, he also is the person that kind of, if you've ever heard the term death of the author, he's also the person that coined that term. But in literary studies and in philosophy, he's usually called the father of semiotics, um, which is the study of signs and symbols and their use or interpretation. I think I've talked about this before with trees, right? He's basically studying, you know, you have a signifier, which is the word tree, and then you have the signified, what I think of um, when I say tree. So, you know, he's really interested in what we call, you know, symbols. So how do you rep how do we draw it, right? Or icons. What when I say tree, I think of a particular kind of tree. You know, like I could think of the oak in our front yard or, you know, some other tree. Um, so what's the icon? What when when I say tree, I see something in my mind. Um, and then the index, like what are the associated terms that you often find when we talk about trees? Okay, so he's he's kind of the person that really looks at um, why we think different icons um, for the same word and what kind of other words do we associate with, um, you know, something like tree. So there's going to be three ways that Barth starts to read images, okay? So first he looks at the linguistic message, right? And, you know, what you can see is down at the bottom, it's in French. Um, so, you know, this, it's still indicating that this ad is for the French audience, right? There's still kind of a facade of... Um, authenticity, but then that's kind of broken down. Like if this was in Italian, right, it would be maybe more authentic than it would be in French. Um, he also talks about the word panzani. Um, in When you say it, it sounds Italian, right? And that's very um, intentional from the brand, right? So when you say um, panzani um, in the linguistic message, you're already starting to think Italian just in the words itself. So, you know, it, you might not know what that means, but the way that it sounds and the way that that sound makes you think of Italian um, is what he would call the linguistic message. Okay, so there's the denoted image. Um, so he ta talks a lot about denotation and connotation. So denotation is like a word's literal meaning and connotation is what it's cultural meaning, right? So like slang words are perfect examples of this, you know, um, you know, when I was younger, we would say tight, um, and tight literally means, you know, it's, it, there's pressure, um, things are stretched out, right? Um, and, you know, in a cultural way, tight was good. So he's looking at the denotated image and he recognizes that ads are a little tough um, because in this example, the ad is trying to be really casual. Like you've just kind of um, happened upon this uh, <laughs> explosion of Italian food. It's supposed to look kind of natural, right? 
And it's not, it's trying not to look staged. And that's what the literal image is trying to tell us. It's like, oh, there's this food and it's just, you know, it's just here. It's authentic. It's real. Um, it's not staged. And, you know, so that's what it's literally trying to tell us. Now, there's the other cultural connotation, right? And, um, you know, you could read, um, again, the literal could also be, you know, oh, there's, vegetables it's fresh right it, it, it might be fresh now connotation is the cultural images like you know the tomato being front and center tomatoes are oftentimes associated with italian cooking right um and so the cultural image like why um why are they being held in this sort of basket right this basket seems Italian, like you've seen it to um, hold salamis and other dried meats. Um, and, you know, the colors, um, the colors look like the Italian flag, like all he's saying the cultural image here is everything is about Italian. And it's about like, it can be yours. It's there for the taking, like it's literally exploding out of there, like at you. So it's like, please buy us. So um, that's just the easy way of kind of breaking down an image, right? You're looking at its cultural meaning, its literal meaning, and then what the words are trying to tell us, okay? So that's how um, you read images uh, according to Roland Barthes. Thank you.